Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and today we are on face cam as you can see. I was tagged by Birdkeeper Toby last year to do his wants to battle tag for 2022. Well, it is now 2023. I'm a little bit late to that. Obviously, I took a bit of a break in December just to mentally recharge during the holidays. But now that we are back, I wanted to do the tag. Take a couple questions, talk about the channel, talk about my background, and then tag a couple creators to do the tag as well before the month is out. So we are going to get right into the questions here. Thank you very much to Birdkeeper Toby for tagging me. I'm very excited to do this. We're going to start out with question one, your favorite Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. For me, it was my boss stiff. Not only was it just very wholesome to see the Pokemon featured in Arvin's story and to watch it recover from its injuries, but I found a shiny Mashif in the game and was able to evolve it into Mabostiff. I nicknamed it Junior. It's purple, it's adorable, and I used it on my team. I had a Mabostiff before I found the shiny, shiny that I was also gonna use on my team, but to find it randomly in the wild, not even to hunt for it, was an awesome experience. I love dog Pokemon. Stoutland is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and especially from Generation 5. So Mabostiff just fit into that niche of Pokemon I really like. And the fact that I found a shiny of it just really made the enjoyment of playing with it in the game even more. How did you pick your username? Of course, my username is Linky here on YouTube. I have used this username forever. My channel was created in November of 2013, and back then my name was Linky1029. That was Linky1029 was my username. Eventually, it got shortened just to Linky, and it comes from a fish that I had when I was a kid. Not only was it the name of a uh, beta fish that I had growing up, but it was also my name on one of the first online games that I played. So that's just kind of how the username has evolved, and I stuck with it because, frankly, it's short, it's simple, it can be used on every single platform. I'm able to find the handle everywhere to keep using it. So it just naturally stayed with me. And that's been my username ever since. Last year, question three, your best video. What video are you most proud of from the free previous calendar year? What video are you most excited that you did? And for me, it was definitely my video speculating about the Celestica people and the ancient people of Sinjo in Legends Arceus. On some of the notes we get written by Kogita throughout the game, we learn a lot about the Celestica people, the original inhabitants of the Sinnoh region, and the people who inhabited this region and where they came from, especially in the Sinjo region between Johto and Hisui in what would eventually be called Sinnoh. That was my favorite video, speculating about the lore, doing a deep dive into some of the things we learn about in those games. I absolutely love Pokemon lore, so to get to do a whole video focusing on the Celestica people was the video I was most excited to have done in the last year. I did a follow-up video talking about some of the, the time travel stuff as well. So that, that set of videos is really what I'm most proud of from the previous year. You can check them out. I'll put a card in the corner right here if you want to see them right now. Number four, what should viewers expect from you in 2023? More news videos, more theory videos, more discussion videos covering the DLC and different news we get from Scarlet and Violet, and also some new projects focusing on Avatar, most likely. It might be a separate channel, it might be something different, but we're getting into the year where we're gonna get the Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix live action show, and a lot of the Avatar Studios stuff, which is their new animated projects, are really starting to take shape. So I wanna cover that in some way. I'm not sure if it's gonna be here on the Linky channel or if I'll make a separate channel for that, but that is something that I really wanna focus on. And interacting more with other content creators, doing more collaborations, reaching out and doing more stuff on other people's channels and podcasts, that's something else that I wanna set as a personal goal and something you can expect to see in 2023. Five, what milestones are you looking forward to? I wanna hit 20,000 subscribers. 25,000, that range. That's my big goal for the year. I wanna grow the channel to that point, and I wanna grow its subsequent channels, the Eon Ticket and some other stuff that I might do as well behind that. But for the main channel, the goal is 20,000 subscribers, which I think is reasonable. I think it's something that we can hit. Recommend a channel with less subscribers that I think you guys should go check out. It's gonna be my man, Chrome and Eyes. His channel is linked in the sub box on my main page. He does Pokemon discussions. He does deep dives into other video games like Yokai Watch and Yakuza. I cannot recommend him enough. He is a very good friend. I've known him for 
six years at this point now online, so I cannot recommend him enough. He's getting close, I believe, to a thousand subscribers. So if you want to go over and check him out and subscribe, I cannot recommend him enough. And he makes really good Pokemon stuff and other video game discussions as well. The last one, tag three creators who I think you guys should watch and who I think should do this tag subsequently. I'm going to tag three little bit different on the spectrum. First is the Domination. He does shiny hunting streams and team videos and shiny videos for Pokemon. I think he should do this tag. Brynicus, I would also tag to do this video and Johto Johnny. Those are the three that I am tagging right here. It is time for you guys to do the wants to battle tag. Get it in before the end of the month. I implore you. That's been mine. I hope you guys are excited for 2023. Uh, thank you to Birdkeeper Toby for tagging me and I'm very excited put out more content and continue to grow with you guys and enjoy whatever Pokemon has in store for us this year. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. We'll have another one coming out in a couple days. It's going to be speculating on more of 2023 for Pokemon. It's going to be fun. So stick around. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.